people, 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 people. Keep us a suck for say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News. First part of the video is called Long Run Short Catch. Now the Popo in a Spanish town they put out a list of the most wanted men in that area. The top of that list is a young man. His name is Rudolf Almando Shaw O.C. Boxer. B-O-X-E-R. He was said to be the most notorious wanted man in that era. He is responsible for all sorts of shooting, all sorts of gun crime, all sorts of takeaway crime in a homestead in a 31 St. John's Road, also in a Tarspen. He is said to be one of the man, the mastermind, the hittest between an incident that occurred Market Street in a Spanish town wherein three people got caught up, at least two of them lost their life. Well, six people, three of them lost their life, I think. Don't quote me on the amount. However, he's been on the run for a little time, about a month or so, However, this man has a history. This man is also said to be wanted for the takeaway of the mother of a pawpaw -paw in a homestead. This man have a history, criminal record in Jamaica. However, this man is still on the run, on the loose. This man was always out on condition of bail. So we have to ask the question, who is making the decisions, these judge, these prosecutor, and letting out this man to continue the F-U-C-K-R-Y that he is on. However, it seems as if S-H-I-T hit the fan and him realize, uh, you know, say, these people, them, they pa me, them know, say, me are uh, one of the top shooters them in a Spanish town. So therefore, he make a decision and he run for the border. Him jump in our boats and him take the boat and him reach a Cayman Island. Now people, it seems as if the Cayman Island, the Royal Cayman Island Popo, they were doing investigation. They were coordinating their efforts with the Popo in Jamaica because you know say, all sorts of smuggling activity occurs between Jamaica, Bahamas, Costa Rica, Cayman Island on all sorts of illegal boat with all sorts of illegal activity. So therefore, they had an idea that could be one of the mode of transportation or escape of this man. So they were setting out for them. It is said that at about 12.30 p.m., there was some sorts of information and they spot him. The Royal Cayman Island Popo started to trail down a vehicle. When the vehicle realized that it was trail and the popo was in a chase in hot pursuit of them, them tried to run at the popo vehicle, but it seems as if the little hope that they were driving was not built for that type of mission. It was not built that strong, so therefore the vehicle get disabled. It is said that the popo who were armed in Mark popo car, them come out in hot pursuit, them all. Mr. Shaw, boxer, the next person, take by himself, run out the bushes, run away by foot. They say that they are looking for a purse that is about 5 feet 9 inches, slim built, low ear cut, Jamaican more than likely. Mr. Shaw is in the custody. Mr. Shaw, they contacted Jamaican Popo. He is in the custody of the CBC and they are expecting him to be extradited back to Jamaica ASAP. Now people, the Popo in Cayman also made it very clear that listen, this is no sort of escape era for any sort of criminal. This is not like Jamaica, they did not say that, however I am going to say that. When it comes to the Cayman Island, it is a place that is known for all sorts of Offshore banking, Swiss account, this, that, that. They are very big, they are very productive. As a matter of fact, I think that 
the Cayman dollar might be stronger than the US dollar. So compare that to Jamaica, Jamaica 150 had Jamaican for one US dollar. So therefore, Jamaican dollar, puny to it. So the point that I am trying to make is that these people are not going to allow any sorts of criminal element, any sorts of drugs in a society of Jamaica to come a Cayman Island and turn them place upside down. So therefore, people, I am going to show you a video of when they were chasing this man in the Popo helicopter. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Now, people, like me say, the moral of the story is this. Long run, short catch. Now, care how much chances you give a person that always fouls up. They are going to blow that next chance. And for a country such as Jamaica that is plagued by crime and violence. And usually it is the same set of people doing the same thing over and over in different places. How is it that you can be serious as the justice system, as the judge, as the prosecutor, as the government of Jamaica and keep letting out the same people to do the same thing over and over again? That is the definition of insanity. We cannot take you serious when you talk about your crime fighting strategy. Whenever you put up all sorts of picture of people and talk about them wanted. And then when you got the opportunity, meaning the system, to hold them, you let them back out. You give them bail. After them is out for all sorts of takeaway crime. You give them bail, you catch them with toll, you catch them in all sorts of criminal activity. However, they are still out. It is not as if these persons are hiding. This person just decided to take for himself after he got a hundred chances and him blow all hundred chances and probably take away a hundred people. So people, if the government of Jamaica don't learn from that, what are they going to learn about? However, we see some places like Cayman Island that has good management of their country that are serious about making sure that their place is properly monitored, making sure that they keep out criminal element. They are doing everything to make sure say, the neighborhood don't go down into the slummers, point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, people remember I've always told you that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. How many times, how many cases, how many years we've heard about correctional officers, police taking prisoner to the hospital and the prisoner attempting to escape. In some cases they do, in some cases them get pie pie up, however in some cases them even lose them life. However, that is in their natural instincts to do that. People that are locked up are trying to get out of prison by any means necessary. It is the job, it is the responsibility of these CO, of these poor poor to make sure that they don't do that. They don't allow it to happen. However, people, here we are, a prisoner, an inmate was taken to the Kingston Public Hospital. He went there for some sorts of treatment. All right, people in the free world, them get sick. It happened to prisoners. Less than adequate environment, so therefore they are going to get sick even quicker. Nothing wrong with that. However, it seems as if sometimes these people are pulling off some sort of scam, some sort of sham. After all, that is what prisoners, that is what criminals always do. So anyways, the poor poor took the prisoner to the hospital for treatment. The prisoner decides say, he need to use the bathroom, he need to take a leak, he need to do a number two, whatever the case is. Nothing wrong with that. However, what is wrong is that the poor poor did not take precaution and make sure to listen. At least there was some sort of grill upon the window at the bathroom. That means say, he couldn't slide through, he couldn't jump through, he couldn't take for himself and people. Guess what? That is exactly what the prisoner tried to do. 
So therefore, the po po fell, them fall for the same hokey pokey, the same old trick. However, fortunately for citizens and residents of Jamaica, the po po chase him and catch him and pie pie him up. Him get a con for his efforts. So people, that is always a good thing. It is a pity that them couldn't take him out right upon the spots. Now people, when we listen to stuff like this, we have to really wonder if these CEO, if these popo are taking bribery. Because surely, after it happened one time, two time, three time, a hundred time, you would think that there would be some sort of protocol for say, listen, whenever you carry the prison them, go to the KPH at the hospital, make sure say, if you don't want going to the bathroom with them, you have a long chain that is connected to their foot, to their hand or to their neck. And then you have the next end, the next end of the chain in your hand. Chain up around some, around some sort of pole or something. However, when you just give them a free will, you did not check the bathroom window to make sure say, all right, it is not possible. If you do any sorts of limbo, if you put on any sorts of oil and get slippery like any sorts of eel, you can't get to it. So people, I don't know what is going to happen with these officers, with these people transporting these prisoners. However, they are making too many silly mistakes. And whenever they make silly mistakes, Jamaican people have to pay for it with their life or with their goods. Point blank and period. 